Hello friend, welcome to Stack 5 and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So, let's go. Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. This is Ramiz Zaman and I welcome you all to another video in our Pathfinder series. And this question is from Rotational Mechanics and I'm pretty much sure that this question might come in our J Advanced 2021 examination. I don't know, I have a sixth sense and I don't know what the hell I'm talking right now. Anyways, so let us go through the question very quickly. A toy, roly-poly, <laughs> roly-poly, consists of two rigidly attached hollow uniform plastic balls. The upper and the lower balls are of radii 6 cm and 9 cm respectively. A small load of mass 250 gram is glued at the bottom of the lower ball. So here the mass is glued. This toy has a property that if it is tilted to one side by any angle and then set free, it oscillates and finally settles in vertical orientation. Which of the following statements are correct? Hmm. More is the mass of the load, faster is the response, more is the mass of the lower ball, more sluggish is the response, okay. Uh, I will check these two options later on, but first I am more interested in C and D. So mass of the upper ball should be less than 150 gram and that of the lower ball should be more than 150 gram and mass of the upper ball should be less than 150 and that of the lower ball may have any value. Okay, so first here we have a condition for the masses of these two balls. So let us go through that very quickly. So this is our structure initially. Okay, and when this structure is tilted by some angle theta, so these are the torques or the forces that will act on the whole frame okay so here is the weight of this mass here is the weight of this mass will act and this point the weight of the load will act right the toy to function properly okay uh, the center of mass of this whole system whole system should lie at the left side of the pivot point okay at the left side of the pivot point because if only the center of mass of the whole structure is on the left side then only a reversing torque will act on the system pulling it back to its initial position okay if the center of mass lies on the right side at in this at this instant then it will just uh, topple and fall down okay and that's not the how the toy works here anyways so our condition that the center of mass of this this and this should lie within the range A and O. Okay, so the distance of the center of mass measured from A should be less than R1. So this location of the center of mass should be in between A and O and this gap should be less than R1. Okay, so with respect to point A, let us write down the location of the center of mass, equation of the center of mass. So M into 0, where M is the mass of the load, M1 times 9, so M1 times 9 this radius is 9 plus m2 times 9 2 times 9 okay m2 times 2 times 9 that is 18 plus 6 24 divided by the total mass that should be less than 9 now just uh, equate this one as you can see that m1 gets cancelled out and we get it the final condition that is m2 should be less than 150 grams okay now, as you can see that it is independent of M1, so no matter what be the value of the mass of this bigger sphere, it won't uh, hamper the functioning of the toy. Because of course, the uh, force or the torque will be zero with respect to the pivot point because of this weight is passing through this pivot point only, so torque will be zero. So it doesn't matter whatever the mass of M1 is. So option D is correct and C is wrong. So let us check once again. Option D. Mass of the upper ball should be less than 150, yes, and that of the lower ball may have any value. Now let us check option A and B. More is the mass of the load, faster is the response. Now let us check this diagram once again. Now if somehow we increase the mass of this load, then the center of mass will shift towards A. Hence, increasing the perpendicular distance with respect to this pivot point, hence increasing the torque, that will increase alpha. So, the initial response would be quicker if you increase the value of the load. So, option A is also correct. 
more is the mass of the lower ball more sluggish is the response okay now check this diagram once again if you increase the mass of this ball okay then this center of mass will shift towards O hence decreasing the torque decreasing the angular acceleration making the motion more slow the response will be very slow initial response okay so option D is also correct okay but I don't know why in the answer key or in the book they have said that only option B and D are correct but according to me option A B D these three options will be correct correct me if I am wrong in the comment section I will be happy to rectify myself and I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I'll see in the next one peace take care as you have come to the end of the video you get a cookie I'll see in the next one peace take care